Hi, Whitney Neal here with the women's volleyball team at the University of St. Francis. They're coached by Fabiana Shields. It's her third season, and we're here with preseason warm-ups. We're going to interview some of the girls, so let's get started. Hi, I'm here with Kristen Ball with the women's volleyball team. She'll be a senior this season. Last season she was out with a leg injury, but now she's getting back at it. How did it feel to have to sit out and watch your team compete week after week and not be able to help? Um, I felt really hopeless and helpless, honestly. Um, it was really tough watching them compete because I wanted to be out on the court so bad. Um, so I just kind of had to try to find other ways to be still part of the team and be kind of a leader that way. Right. So even though you couldn't help athletically, what things could you do, like advice giving, et cetera, to help your girls? I think I tried uh, my very best to kind of be a leader towards, especially the younger girls that were on the court, giving them advice on maybe where to hit or what to do at certain times um, on the court and just be really supportive of them. Right, and because the team is really young this year, now that you're coming back to play, what do you think you're gonna bring to this team? Um, hopefully I bring some of that leadership back onto the court this year and um, get a better chance to kind of interact with some of the players on the court. Right, and with your injury, how did you feel during rehab? Do you think you're coming back strong or do you have a little bit ways to go still? Um, starting rehab, it was definitely a little rough, but I think I definitely um, am back to 100% and I'm ready to play this year. Well, that's good to hear. Thanks for talking to us, Kristen. We're here with Danielle Hartman. She's a senior this year for a women's volleyball team. She's the libero, and she played with a really young team last year. How was that? Um, it was interesting. It was definitely a young team, so it was a building year, but I feel like the past three years have been building years because we have little seniors, but I think this year will be a really good year. I mean, we have about five freshmen, so. That's exciting. And last year you were honorable mentions for all crossroads. Do you feel like that will be another title gain this year, or? I hope so. I mean, it pushes me to try harder, so. Right. Maybe go for second or first team? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> um, what are you looking forward to most this season? Definitely, I think we're going to have a successful season. Um, I mean, once again, we are young, but last year it was building year. I think this year it's just going to be a lot better. We're going to like, keep building, keep getting better. So I think we'll have more wins, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, we hope you will too. Thanks for talking to us. I'm here now with Morgan Hansen. She was an all-freshman last year. How did that feel to win that title? Honestly, I was kind of surprised. I didn't play a whole lot in the beginning of the season, but toward the end I started playing a lot more and I actually started playing really, really well, and it's just kind of an honor. Right, so your team is a very young team. You're building. How does that feel? Honestly, it was, it was hard at first because we still have, like, we we're all kind of in the high school level still, but as we kept going through the season, it started getting a little better, and then toward the end, we kind of got a little burnt out, and that's when we started falling off the horse, basically. <laughs> Right, so we know you started out strong. The end of your season, you started to get a couple more losses. How do you feel now? Like, what are you going to take from that to build up and get more wins this season? Honestly, I think the competitive level is going to be a lot higher this year with the new incoming freshmen, and that'll push us to do even better as a team. And I just hope we get a lot more wins this year. <laughs> All right, I hope you do too. Thanks. I'm here with the Clark Twins. We have Sarah and Carrie. Sarah, how did it feel to be second team All-Conference? Uh, it was an honor. Honestly, there were a lot of good players out there, so to be nominated, that was really something special. Now, you guys started out as a really young team. There's a lot of freshmen. What did you do to kind of put yourself out there? Well, as you said, there's a lot of freshmen, so honestly, we just came here with a positive attitude. Um, our high school team was um, young as well, so we had experience, and we just brought that here. Right. So this year, even though you're sophomores, the team is young. Do you think you'll be big leaders being as good as you are? I, I really hope so. You know, we have three returning seniors and a lot of new freshmen, so I think it's up to the sophomores to really bring the experience that we had last year back. Right. And what do you think you're going to bring as, like, your own personal skills? Honestly, um, I really like to talk, and so being loud out there and encouraging others is what I like to do a lot. Right, and that's really important. So last year, Carrie, you were honorable mention also. How did that feel for you? Um, that was awesome to get that, but this year I'm definitely hoping to step it up, and that starts from right now in preseason for sure. Right, so last year you guys started off strong, started to die out a little bit towards the end. What are you doing in the preseason to get ready for this season? This year it's all about mental toughness. Last year we had some games, like we said, that, were, that weren't so good, so this year we're working on being strong from the beginning and going the whole season strong. Okay, thanks for talking to us girls. We're so excited to see you play.
Hope you enjoyed hearing from some of the girls on the team. We had some great seniors and sophomores to talk to today. We're really looking forward to meeting the freshmen. If you can come out to their first home match, it's September 7th against Grace College. And if you can't make it, then check us out on stfrancischougars.com for our live broadcast.